I'm gonna say, I wasn't paying attention to what you said. I was looking at pictures of guavas. <laughs> Welcome back to another round. This is episode 22. Just kidding, 21. All right, so this week we are trying Pog Sorbet, or as it's written on here, Sour Bet, <laughs> from Austin Brothers Beer Company. Pog. Pog. <laughs> uh, they're based out of Alpena, Michigan, another Michigan, and the owners originally from South or Southern California came across Alpena, Michigan on a cross-country road trip. With no ties to the area, they decided to pack up their families to follow their dream of starting a microbrewery. Well, I think it's funny on how they were doing a road trip and then they just hit Alpino for like, okay, bye family, we're just stay yeah. here. No, 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 no. It's, it's not bye family, it's, uh, hey, we're gonna, let's go move out there. What's up there? Oh, it's, it's like the middle of nowhere, Michigan. It's on the water. Pog Sorbet, Pog Sourbet, is, is a kettle sour with passion fruit, orange, and guava. A silky smooth balance of tart and fruit. What's funny is last week's was Pog as well, and it stood for the exact same thing. Passion Coincidence? Why is Twitch Chat's Pog? Why is that, like, why is it Pog? What, what's, what, I guess, what's the significance behind that? Answer that question in uh, the comments. Yeah, honestly. If you know the I answer, because I, I don't. don't. I do not know where pod came from, like the word. Yeah. All right, let's crack into it. Mm -hmm. Moment of silence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again. Messy. 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 It's just so full, I think. Yeah. I don't know how to show the camera this, but yes, like literally it is in the rim. It was so full. And it's still coming up. Just gotta drink it. Just gotta go for it. That's bang for a buck right here. Mm-hmm. That's very sour. Holy crap. Yeah. It's super sour initially, but it's not super strong. No, not not at all. It's not strong at all. It just packs a punch of like I'm just it it's like it's like put put like one of those warheads in your mouth for it's like rub it on your tongue for a little bit and it'll hit you, linger, and then it's gone. It doesn't last a long time. There's really not much flavor. I'm gonna say it, there's really not much flavor in no. this. I expected like a lot more fruitiness, especially compared to like last week's. You lose everything. Like there's a little aftertaste of maybe it's pomegranate. There pomegranate's not in here. It might be it might be guava. I've never had Yeah, it's I've probably never guava. Had guava. Neither have I. I know what. There's a weird flavor after. I know what orange tastes water. like. I know what passion fruit tastes like. This ain't either of them. So I'm <laughs> through deductive reasoning. It's I've guava. concluded it is probably guava. Nothing else to say about this. It's definitely missing something. There's something missing. And if, I, I, if I'm being honest, this would do the job. What? It? it would. I'd say it'd do the job. You know that guy? The vanilla, the cream, the sugar the milk byproducts that's a 10 <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do you want to go first then for uh tasting okay i will give this a six eight six eight okay i was thinking six nine but i didn't want to go there i think differently and i'm gonna give it a four okay just because I rated Fish Boy kind of similar, and this is giving me Fish Boy vibes. I feel like Fish Boy left a lot to be desired, where it was like. See, Fish Boy had no flavor, while this has. This, only is, this is just it's, sour. It's, yeah. This is just sour. It's not fruity or anything. And I guess that's why I did a 6 8, because you do get the sour, but you are missing that fruitiness or, or something after it. The can design, though. This is a vibrant shiny there, there is some stuff going on here <laughs> there oh. is so much going on there is way too much on this can yeah there's a lot I, i'm not a big fan of the font here in the front not great 
there's like, if you just, too much red. If you look at the back of the can, just look at how much is going on here. Like, I I can't focus, but my, my eyes are just like darting around of what to look at. And then the front, like it's, I guess it's kind of cool they put the pomegranate, guava, and oranges. Passion fruit. Passion fruit, guava, <laughs> oranges. PGO is my favorite. It's just like the colors aren't matching. And also okay. it looks like the oranges are, <laughs> yeah, the oranges look it's like they've so been stretched. poorly photoshopped. I think, oh. I think that's the issue, right? Is on the front of the can, they have the logo, they have the name of the drink, and then the items that are in the drink. And each one of those three things are in a different style. Like one's shiny, one's matte, one's just poorly photoshopped. I'm pretty sure they just got this directly off of Google. I, I've pretty much just roasted this can. I don't know if there's anything you want to say. Yeah. I'm going to say, I wasn't paying attention to what you said. I was looking at pictures of guavas. <laughs> but <laughs> Monkey brain over here. Monkey. But, okay. Too much red. It's too much red. It's red font, red background. Red font, or red logo on the background. On the back, you got more red on red. And then you got green here. What is this, Christmas? No. uh all right, let's uh, let's just get into the rating here. Let's just let's just get it over with. <laughs> you want to go first for this one? Yeah, I'll go first. This is. I'm trying to find something I like about it. I do like their their like their logo for the. But that has nothing brewery. to do with the drink, though. Like, what? Well, no, it's on the can, though. That's all that. That's about it. Yeah, I will give this a two. Ooh, like it's. I, I, there's really not many redeeming factors. I just feel bad giving like giving it like anything in the ones or teens. I guess you could call it. Yeah, no, I'll probably go one five. One five, yeah. This is like there's a lot of a lot of things going on here, and not <laughs> much is working for it. There's really not much working for this. Like one flush, you guys got a good logo. I do like that. Ooh. <laughs> What's the final score? What's the tally? It's a 3.575. It's a rough one. This is this is the low one of the this lowest. Is, this is the lowest. Yeah. This is the lowest. If you're debating whether to get a fish boy or this. <laughs> Flavor wise, I'd probably get this if I'm being honest. Because fish boy is like a light beer and you add a little fruit in and then you add more water. <laughs> yes. But this is like, hey, you get a little sour, but that's about it. Yep. And then you just don't look at the can. Other than that, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us this week, and uh, we'll catch you next week for another round. See ya.